assalamu alaikum dear students hoping you are well and fine and now you already have adjusted with the routine you already have adjusted with the tempo of the lectures uh, kindly speed up your uh, speed and tempo uh, as you already know that we are already done with our software part as already told you that a computer has basically two parts software and hardware we are already completely done with the software part uh, today onwards inshallah we would be uh, discussing and talking about all the types of hardware we are indulging into the topic of hardware now onwards hardware is something which is tangible something which you can touch or see you can feel that thing that is hardware uh, hardware has further types like input devices and output devices and storage devices etc but uh, today inshallah we are starting uh, the first topic of hardware that is input devices input devices are basically part of hardware so anything given to the computer for processing or storage is called as input the data and instructions are given to the computer as input now what is an input device the devices that are used to enter data and instructions into the computer are called input devices the input device is a hardware component it takes input from user and converts it into a form machine readable form a machine or computer understandable form or binary form that a computer can understand and can use so there are basically two ways to enter data and instructions into the computer and these two ways are indirect input as well as direct input in indirect input in this method data is entered after intermediate handling the most commonly used in uh, indirect input devices are uh, keyboard and pointing devices so keyboard and pointing devices are called as indirect input devices while there is another type that is called as direct input in this method uh, data is entered directly into the computer system from the source uh, by some person so devices used for direct input are called source data entry devices most commonly used direct input devices are uh, scanning devices microphones and digital cameras so digital cameras microphones and scanning devices are direct input devices while keyboard and pointing devices such as mouse trackball touchpad etc are indirect input devices so input devices uh, are further divided into uh, many more components uh, there are certain further types of input devices which include keyboard uh, input devices include pointing devices input devices include audio visual uh, input devices input devices include optical input devices and these devices further have other subtypes like uh, I'm not talking about the types of keyboard. Uh, I'll just talk about the uh, the types of keys on a keyboard. But if we talk about the pointing devices, pointing devices have further subtypes like mouse is a pointing device, trackball, touchpad, touchscreen, and joystick and light pen, etc. These all are the types of pointing devices. These all are the types of pointing input devices. Uh, audio visual devices uh, or audio visual input devices include microphones and digital cameras while optical input devices include scanners and magnetic stripe cards first of all in our today's lecture we are going to talk about a keyboard a keyboard which is an input device so we are talking about a keyboard and this is the layout and shape of a proper keyboard what is basically a keyboard a keyboard or a computer keyboard is a hardware device that functions in accordance to the instructions made by the user it comprises of circuits switches and processors that help in transferring keystroke messages to the computer 
so keyboard still is called uh, you are using a keyboard is called keyboarding keyboards are generally uh, plugged in uh, to a computer through a cable through a usb port computer keyboards are used for performing various tasks such as typing on a uh, on a ms word program on an uh, on a ms word interface or some text editor uh, some ms excel software program accessing menus and uh, accessing their icons accessing their options etc etc though pressing a key or pressing a key uh, on the keyboard corresponds to typing a letter or sign or symbol it may also represent computer commands you can enter computer commands through the keyboard too a standard keyboard uh, has about 80 to 100 keys uh, and most keyboards use the qwerty layout qwerty layout means that the first six keys in the top row of a keyboard are the letters q w e r t y that's why uh, these type of uh, keyboards are called as qwerty keyboard is basically the primary input device it is used to enter data like text data or number based data or symbols into the computer the buttons on the keyboard are called as keys the keyboard contains keys for all alphabetic characters numeric digits uh, and special characters or symbols it also contains some special keys uh, or uh, like known as function keys i later on talk about the types of keys present on a keyboard too when a key is pressed keyboard convert converts this uh, character pressed by the user into digital form uh, and then sends inside the computer the most popular keyboard layout is qwerty as talked earlier this is because the first six leftmost keys on the top row of alphabets are q w e r t and y a keyboard is connected to the serial or usb port on the system unit some keyboards do not require uh, the cable to connect with the computer these are called as wireless keyboards which do not need a cable to get connected to a computer these keyboards enter data into the computer through wireless technology these types of keyboards are known as cordless or wireless keyboards but most of the keyboards we are using uh, nowadays or, or a common person is using is uh, cable based uh, keyboard which can be connected with a computer uh, with the help of a cable in earlier times keyboards were of two sizes uh, who were having uh, like uh, keyboards which had uh, 84 keys uh, either 101 keys or 102 keys but nowadays keyboards are coming with 104 keys or 108 keys if we uh, talk about the purposes of different keys present on a keyboard uh, if we talk about this numeric keyboard this this numeric keypad so uh, this numeric keypad you can see my cursor revolving around that portion this is called as numeric keypad so uh, this numeric keypad functions like a calculator it has arithmetic operators like plus like minus like multiply and slash etc uh, that are used in arithmetic operations the numeric pad also has an extra enter key you can see this extra enter key and a num lock key this is a num lock key the num lock key is used to activate and deactivate the numeric pad if you want to activate this numeric pad you have to uh, press this num lock key so there is also on this keyboard there is present an enter key a common enter key this is used to enter a command or input data in the computer it is also called as return key so this enter key is also called as return key um, and you can use this enter key when you are writing down some text and uh, uh, when you want to uh, like uh, go to the next line you press enter key so on this keyboard there are also present function keys these keys on the top of the keyboard uh, with letter f on them so these keys are called as function keys uh, from f1 to f12 
uh, these are uh, the special keys and uh, they perform special functions their functions depend on the software being used on the computer here are also uh, present control and alt key this is control key control c t r l this is alt key this is alt key this is also called as control key so control and alt keys are always used in combination with other keys to execute special functions or commands so the use of these keys also uh, depends upon the application software so these uh, keys are not meaningful when they are alone uh, they are meaningful when they are uh, used in combination with other keys suppose in order to um, increase or decrease the size of uh, sentences you are writing in ms word you can use uh, keys like control plus shift plus greater than symbol here i want to tell you uh, the thing is that control is being used with the shift key with the greater than sign uh, greater than uh, key in order to uh, increase the size of the sentences written in ms word so you are using control with some other key like shift or uh, you can use other uh, combinations too so there is also present a backspace key this is the backspace key present in the second row of the keyboard so backspace key is used to delete the single character on the left uh, of the cursor on the screen there is also a uh, present arrow key or multiple arrow keys like you can see here arrow keys arrow keys are used to move the cursor left right up and down on the screen uh, there are also present page up and page down keys this is page up and this is page down keys these keys are normally used in ms word uh, or some other uh, softwares on which uh, uh, which you uh, use in order to create some documents etc uh, so these keys are, are are normally used with such type of application softwares to move the screen up or down if you are using page up your uh, your screen uh, would come on the top page you would be able to see the uh, first page and if you are using page down key you would be able to see the down angle of a page and through page up you would be able to see the top angle of a page then there is also present home key here is this home key with page up so home key is normally used in the word processing or ms word software and in other types of text editors to move the cursor to the top left of the screen or to the beginning of the document uh, when you are using the page up key page up key was actually uh, used to take you to the uh, to the top angle to the top part of that same page but if you are using the home key then uh, this home key would take you to the beginning of the document suppose your uh, document consists of 50 pages and you are working on 29th page and if you press the home key that key would take you to the first page to the first page page number one of that document then there is another key called as shift key here it is this is called as shift key so the shift key is pressed in combination with other keys to produce uppercase letters and uppercase symbols shown on the keys then there is another key called as tab key here it is this is the tab key so the tab key is used to move the cursor to next tab position when you press a tab key it um, it actually supports you to uh, have spaces uh, in the document then the, there is another key called as caps lock this is the caps lock key just below the tab key so caps lock key is pressed to type the uppercase letters if you want to convert some uh, small case letter to uppercase letter uh, or you want to just type the uppercase letters big letters capital letters you can uh, just press the caps lock key 
so numbers and symbols are not affected by the caps lock key because the numbers or symbols are not small or upper case they are not in small or capital case but it only affects the alphabets uh, so when this key is pressed the caps lock indicator on the keyboard lights up then there is another key called as delete key so the delete key deletes one character or space to the right of the cursor it also deletes the entire selection means if you select uh, a sentence in order to delete it and you select that sentence and you press the delete key the whole sentence would be the whole selection of the sentence would be deleted the whole sentence sentence would get deleted then there is another key called as scroll lock uh, this key causes lines of text not the cursor to move when the keyboard is in scroll lock mode the indicator on the keyboard light under scroll lock lights up uh, then there's another key called as pause key which causes the screen to pause when the information is scrolling off the screen then there is another um, the, here it is present scroll lock uh, then there is another present a uh, pause key here it is pause key pause key causes the screen to pause when the information is uh, scrolling off the screen then there is another called as print screen uh, here it is here it is print screen print screen uh, key is when pressed it copies the current screen to the windows clipboard means if you want to take a snapshot of the screen you can uh, press this print uh, print screen option uh, then there is another key called as end key uh, end key is normally used in uh, ms word softwares in text editors to move the cursor to the right of the screen or to the end of the screen or document the function of this key is opposite to that of the home key home key takes when you press a home key home key takes you to the first page of the whole document first page of the file when you press end key it takes you to the last page of the document then there is another key called as escape key this is this is the escape key when you press the escape key it is used to uh, terminate a command or current task suppose you are working on a on an ms word window when you uh, press the escape key it actually uh, decreases the size of ms word window it uh, actually uh, so whatever you are doing on your screen and you press the escape key it terminates that current task you are performing so now the question is that how a keyboard works this hierarchy uh, actually shows the working of a keyboard so the thing or story begins from here that first of all you press a key on the keyboard suppose a b c some alt key control key shift key etc so you press a key on the keyboard so what happens next actually a keyboard has a keyboard controller too so when you press a key what the keyboard controller uh, does that the keyboard controller actually produces a scan code an ascii code a s c double i ascii code the keyboard controller uh, produces an ascii code a scan code then the keyboard controller uh, sends the scan code for that key for that key which actually you already have pressed so the keyboard controller sends a scan code for that pressed key uh, and that uh, and after that the keyboard controller uh, actually uh, finally sends that scan code to the keyboard buffer you pressed the key what happened next the keyboard controller generated or produced an ascii or scan code for that pressed key because as told you earlier that uh, a computer cannot understand any language in the world other than the binary language so when you uh, press some english based alphabet or sentence or letter uh, through your keyboard uh, that letter or word would be converted by the keyboard controller into some scan code 
then the keyboard controller uh, sends that scan uh, scan code to the keyboard buffer buffer means some temporary storage space so keyboard also has got uh, a temporary storage space whatever you press on a keyboard uh, the keyboard controller uh, controller generates a scan code for those keys and uh, those uh, uh, for those uh, keys and those uh, generated scan codes are basically uh, stored inside the keyboard buffer those scan codes or ascii codes are uh, stored inside the keyboard into the keyboard buffer then that scan code so i was talking about like uh, that uh, that scanned code or that ascii code which was stored into the keyboard buffer would be then uh, shifted to the system software or the system software would actually deal with that scan code with that ascii code what the system software would do as you know that operating system is basically a part of system software and that operating system deals with that scan code or ascii code press pressed against that key the operating system takes that scan code or ascii code from the keyboard buffer and sends that ascii code or scan code to to the cpu to the microprocessor of the computer now the microprocessor of the computer generates electric signals for that ascii code for that scan code uh, and those uh, electrical signals uh, are then further they are uh, converted in to the binary code suppose as a user you pressed letter a you pressed letter a on the keyboard what happened uh, the keyboard controller generated a scan code and ascii code for the letter a then that scan code or the ascii code for the letter a got stored into the keyboard buffer from where the operating system uh, part of the system software actually took it uh, the keyboard buffer handed over that scan code or the ascii code to the operating system uh, part of system software operating system then shifted or transferred that scan code or ascii code to the microprocessor and why microprocessor took that scan code or ascii code from the operating system because the microprocessor then had to uh, generate electric signals for the ascii code for the scan code and then these electric signals would be finally uh, converted into the appropriate into the appropriate binary code or machine code understandable by the computer so suppose the uh binary code for a is 010101 so computer wasn't able to understand a that's why this all process happened with the help of keyboard with the help of operating system with the help of uh, microprocessor because a has to be converted into the binary language in order to um, in order to uh, be it understandable for the computer now let's talk about uh, different types of keys present on a computer's keyboard so first i we would be talking about is uh, the typing keys so what are the typing keys these keys include letters such as a b c up to z and they also include digits uh, from uh, like 0 to 9 which generally uh, give the same layout as that of a typewriter typing keys are also called as alpha numeric keys so you need to call them as alpha numeric keys why they are called as alpha numeric keys because they include because they include alphabets as well as they include numbers alphabets from a to z and numbers from 0 to 9 so these uh, keys include uh, letters from a to z numbers from 0 to 9 also punctuations and symbols found on a traditional typewriter second type of keys are control keys these keys are used alone or in combination with other keys to perform certain actions the most frequently used control keys are control alt 
Windows logo key. Uh, so these uh, all are basically called as control keys. Control keys provide cursor and screen control. They include uh, escape key too. S escape key is also uh, called as control key along with alternate and control key. Also page up, page down, these keys are also included in control keys. Then another type of keys is this third type is function keys. The 12 function keys from F1 to F12 are present on the keyboard which are arranged in a row at the top of the keyboard. Each function key has a unique meaning and it is used for some specific purpose. So uh, they are used to, we can say that they are used to perform specific tasks. They are labeled as F1, F2, F3 up till F12. Uh, the functionality of these keys can differ from uh, program to program, from software to software. Another type of keys is basically a numeric keypad. This, this, I'm talking about this numeric keyboard. So, the numeric keyboard is used to enter the numeric data or cursor movements. Generally, it consists of a set of 17 keys that are laid out in the same configuration used by most um, adding machines and calculators. Numeric keypad actually acts like uh, a calculator. It is handy for entering numbers quickly. The keys are grouped in a block like a conventional calculator or adding machine. The other type of keys, this uh, fifth type is navigation keys. Navigation keys are these, as you can see on the screen for upward movement, downward movement, left movement, right movement, these arrows basically, these arrows are called as navigation keys. They can navigate the data in different directions. You can navigate your cursor in different directions. The sixth type of key is called as typing keys. Basically typing keys and alphanumeric keys are same thing. So we have already talked about them. So uh, another type is special purpose keys. Special purpose keys include uh, keys like enter key, shift key, caps lock key, num lock, space bar, tab key, tab and print screen keys. So these all type of keys, are, these all uh, examples are of special purpose keys. You need to remember that navigation keys are also called as cursor, cursor, movement keys. Uh, when it comes to like... Uh, Alt key, control key, shift key. These keys can also be called as modifier keys. A modifier key is a key that modifies the action of another key when the two are pressed together. So uh, you can also call them as modifier keys. A modifier key works in combination with other keys to do various interesting uh, things to perform certain different tasks. So we earlier placed them in the control keys. Uh, in control keys, you can just talk about home key, end key, insert key, delete key, page up, page down. These keys, uh, you can place these keys in control keys category, while uh, you can place control alt and, uh, and, and shift into modifier keys. If you want to extend the categories of keys, you can make, make uh, more and more categories of keys. For now, we are done with uh, the basic uh, discussion uh, about the keyboard types of keys present on a keyboard, their categories, uh, how the keyboard actually works, that the data goes from where to where, how the data is converted from a letter to uh, a binary code. So, uh, and how, what is the purpose of uh, uh, some basic keys present on a keyboard? So we just discussed uh, all about a keyboard. We discussed all the concepts which actually you need to know. So this is the end of our lecture. Today we are done with the, the first type of an input device that is a keyboard. Inshallah in our next lecture we would be uh, doing further types of uh, input devices. In our next lecture we would be uh, talking about the pointing input devices. We, we would be talking about the pointing devices. Till then, Allah Hafiz.